Welcome back, people. It is time for a Coco Coin update. Okay, this coin has been blasting it, and that's Bitcoin. That's not Coco Coin. We can see Coco Coin here uh, just executing a very clean V-shaped recovery, as you can see here on this chart. Uh, obviously, you're probably wondering what happened with the dump. The dump was just simply an airdrop. This happens around airdrops, but what you want to know about coins that have potential success is how well they recover after that airdrop, right? We can see with this coin, just a clear cut textbook V-shaped recovery back up to the area it was at before it dumped. Okay, so fantastic stuff here from Coco Coin so far. These guys did attend three events in the last two weeks. Okay, uh, the first one being the Dubai Binance event. Okay, then they attended the WOW Summit in Bangkok and they attended the DevCon 7 Summit in Bangkok as well. Okay, I actually went to the DevCon Summit myself and went to go see them. And I will just say, in person, they are just as good as their chart looks, right? They are incredible at presentation, okay? They are definitely here for the long run. And it's just nice to have a meme coin where people are doxxed and people are real behind that meme coin, right? It just lowers that potential for scams and rugs and that kind of stuff. And yeah, the chart does really really prove this, right? So these guys uh, are not only printing a great chart, attending fantastic events, uh, and uh, obviously um, promoting themselves everywhere. Uh, they're actually partnering uh, with a lot of people as well. So this is their Twitter right now, 100k followers. Uh, we can see here that yes, they did actually win that liquidity event for Binance Chain. So they're actually backed by Binance Chain uh, with liquidity, 50k liquidity added. Uh, and we can see here that they are partnering with BitGet Wallet for uh, the next competition uh, in which, uh, yeah, they, they could essentially be listed on BitGet very, very soon, okay? And I imagine all four of these will be listed, okay? This is just more of a marketing event. But uh, overall, yes, CocoCoin is doing fantastic. They're, they're really targeting BitGet uh, in terms of the Western side, but also the China side as well. You can see BitGet Wallet CN. They did actually attend a Spaces the other day. You can see here the Space. Oh, no, that's not the Spaces. They did have a Spaces the other day in which they did talk on the BitGet Wallet Twitter. Uh, and if you don't know BitGet Wallet, particularly the Chinese one, right, we can see that they do have 76,000 followers. So that's going to be something that uh, is going to be beneficial for the brand them getting that exposure, right? They're really ticking every criteria box here, guys, uh, when it comes to exposure, when it comes to doing the right stuff for a meme coin, okay? They've been doing giveaways, they've been doing partnerships with coins, okay? And their art is fantastic as well. But where is their market cap? Their market cap right here, right now, we can see is currently around 56 million, all right? And uh, yeah, we did actually get into this coin around 40, so we're up a pretty significant amount here, okay? I can't actually remember if I got in at 30 or 40, but we'll call it 40 just to be safe, <laughs> right? Uh, but as of right now, if we are looking at the chart, let's do a little bit of TA on this bad boy. We can see, we can see that, uh, yes, obviously the V-shape is coming out nicely. We're bringing up areas in which we think this can go parabolic. It's really this zone here, 17. Okay, if we can get above this 17 zone, I do think we blast up to the next level, which will be 18. Okay, uh, and uh, yeah, we do have these volume weighted ATR bands that we have been respecting pretty nicely. And this is really what you want to see with coins, okay, particularly meme coins uh, in the lower, like lower than 100 mil market cap, right? If the TA is respecting typical things that tr price action does respect when it comes to TA, right, in traditional markets, then uh, you can kind of expect the coin to have good liquidity, good market making behind it, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, in terms of entries for this thing, if you are looking, I mean, Really, I want to see Bitcoin bang it up, um, and then I would say entering around 17 is probably quite a good idea, okay? And the reason for that is when we were around this price before, if we are looking at the market cap here, guys, uh, we're actually at all-time highs for market cap, right? We're not quite there yet. We're like a mil off, okay? We got to 58 million in market cap in the original pump, okay? Now, uh, the most recent pump got to about 57, okay? So about one mil off that all-time high for market cap. Uh, and then, yeah, the price we were talking about before, uh, which is this, okay? Yeah, this is just the original pumps where there wasn't that much liquidity. So we did 
did get massive fluctuations in price. But in terms of market cap, which probably matters a lot more here, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, it is actually at this top level in which it could go into price discovery for the market cap as well, right? Uh, so yeah, very, very close to this thing going parabolic. I do think we probably end up around 200 mil, 250 mil within the next few months here, okay? Uh, not financial advice, of course, but I, I do hold some of this and uh, that is why, okay? Everything we talked about so far, that is why, okay? I'm just trying to think of other stuff uh, we can cover. If we do go over to their website here, beautiful little website, okay? Nice animations, okay? You got the price there, you can connect your wallet. Uh, they've got a nice little roadmap that they're looking to do. And one thing about this project as well, guys, is they are not just a meme coin, they're actually an incubator. So what this means is they raised 24 million in their pre-sale, okay? Um, and yes, what, what they're gonna do with that 24 million is obviously all the marketing, getting booths in these events like we've seen, okay? But also, uh, they're going to be doing a lot more, okay? They're going to be doing a lot more here. Uh, and um, what we will say with this is that a lot more is essentially an incubator, okay? So they're going to be funding other projects uh, that are particularly around peace and liberty, that kind of uh, world peace narrative, okay? Uh, and they're going to be funding those projects. And when those projects make money, then these guys will obviously have a stake in those projects in which they can then push CocoCoin further, whether it be buybacks, whether it be massive marketing campaigns, whether it be big PR partnerships, whatever, okay? This is really a good business model when it comes to meme coins, right? Raise a lot of money, create an incubator, fund a bunch of other coins, whether they're meme coins, whether they're uh, AI coins or, or whatever, right? Uh, and then when those coins get success, then these guys are diversified in which, yeah, one of them pops off, they make a lot of money, then they've made all of their money back and more uh, in which they can then promote their own project, okay? So everyone wins with this business model, uh, assuming they invest in the right things, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're going to the right events to find those projects as well. So fantastic stuff from CocoCoin, okay? They do have a user center as well if you do want to check it out. Uh, and if you want to get your friends involved, then uh, yeah, you can do that with a nice little referral link they'll give you, okay? And then it, obviously, if, if people buy the coin, then uh, you can potentially get rewards for that uh, in the Peace Coin uh, or in CocoCoin, depending on how these guys uh, do it right I think you can also stake here on the site yeah you can add LP holdings so you can stake here on the site which is pretty cool indeed okay uh, and besides that yeah I mean definitely check this coin out okay definitely check this coin out because these guys are doing all the right things. I, I rarely talk about coins on this channel unless they're doing the right things, okay? I've been covering these guys for probably about a month and a half now, uh, and yeah, I mean, my investment's gone pretty well, okay, based on how these guys have performed, uh, and yeah, I expect a lot more to come as we are literally just kicking off that next stage of the bull market, right? Uh, if we are going to do a little quick little update here on the actual overall market, we can see that Bitcoin uh, did actually have a little start pump here last night. We did break all time highs, but uh, yeah, we didn't get over that 15 minute volume weighted today, TR band. That's what we were really looking for for this trade. Okay, a little gap between the 15 minute and the 60 minute. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't come into fruition. But what we will say here with this, guys, is um, yes, this is going to be the catalyst for other coins like CocoCoin, right? So if we are looking at this and we're saying, okay, uh, let's just take a look and see, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, I mean, if we did break these highs and we did start blasting up to 100k you can expect a coin like coco coin that has been pretty coupled with the rest of the market recently right uh, you can expect this coin to probably do the same and i would probably target uh, around 18 19 if bitcoin does want to start blasting it up to the 100k regions all right so that's going to be it from me have a fantastic day i'm going to do an altcoin video today so drop a comment let me know which altcoin you want to see and i will do probably uh one or two altcoins today for you guys to uh to to keep you updated, keep you updated on what's going on uh, across the altcoin world, all right? So that's gonna be it for me. Have a fantastic day. Drop a like on the video, drop a comment, helps me out a lot, and be sure to share it around all your groups, all right? See you in a bit, guys. Cheers.